Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bogey Time, and uh, in this review it will be the Salem Gold. Um, Salem is a uh, menthol brand uh, cigarette. Uh, these come in hundreds and shorts, or uh, king sized, and uh, these come in uh, full flavors, as in like the, the, uh, the strong menthol, the green box, and the golds, and then the ultralights, or which are the silver boxes. Or, or gray boxes, um, but uh, yeah, opening, uh, I like the pack design, uh, I prefer the green one, um, but I do prefer this one over the ultralight box, the ultralight box looks pretty bland in my opinion, but um, yeah, uh, taking the last cigarette out of the pack, uh, there, it's now empty, um, taking a look at the cigarette, uh, green, uh, Salem right here. And then the logo, the uh, like the uh, yin yang or something like that, right below the Salem. And then there's two silver bands going around the filter, uh, white filter, and one line of perforations, but the holes are pretty far spaced apart. So uh, we'll see how it affects. Uh, blend of the tobacco is a, a medium tone. Uh, dry pop. Yeah, um, it has a pretty nice sweetness to it, uh, with a bit of menthol. Um, smells kind of piney, uh, in my opinion, uh, but it's very nice. Uh, I can definitely smell the menthol off of this. So, uh, without further ado, let's get this lit up. By the way, I got my hair cut, so uh, my head is freezing right now. I can't find my beanie. <sighs> um, okay, first initial taste of the cigarette. <sighs> okay, it has a lot of cooling. Like, uh, a lot of the menthol taste coming through. Um, but uh, I do kind of taste the tobacco, but I feel like the menthol is a little stronger on these than uh, the uh, menthol full flavors. Uh, the menthol might be a little weaker on the full flavors. Uh, and I guess the silver uh, box, the ultralights, are just full menthol, uh, possibly. But uh, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Very, very smooth going down. Uh, I don't have any uh, bad chemical taste or anything. Um, I, I get a bit of sweetness with uh, with uh, the tobacco, and uh, the menthol comes through really strong. Um, it's a little bit different menthol than I experience with most menthol cigarettes, actually. Um, this just, like, I just feel like there's just, like, one... Uh, one uh, ice cube like stuck in my throat, but like I can still breathe. It's weird. Like there's just one section of my throat that's super, super cold right now. <sighs> yeah, very unique menthol taste. Um, more icy. Um, it's not as like minty. It's more like an ice uh, sensation. Um, it's very nice. Very refreshing, honestly. But, uh, yeah, uh, these taste very good. Um, Yeah, no, no, no chemical taste whatsoever. Uh, even getting towards the end here, um, these are a little cheaper in my area. I think this was like, uh, now my dogs are barking. Uh, I think this was like seven fifty, even with tax. So um, uh, these are pretty cheap in my area, at least. 
so I don't know if these are budget bread or if um, they're just really cheap in my area. Who knows? I also noticed that uh, this is not made by R.J. Reynolds. Uh, this is uh, IGT Brands LCC Greensboro. So uh, yeah, very different company. Um, this has Asian menthol in it, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I know on the old boxes it used to say it. Or the green box, it says Asian menthol on it. Um, so I'm assuming this is a men this is an Asian cigarette uh, imported into here. But yeah, very clean tasting. Um, again, that that uh, icy feeling is still really really hitting me. Alright, that's about done. I'm gonna put that out. Um, what would I give these out of 10? Uh, honestly, I give these probably 9, nine out of 10. Uh, I wish the tobacco taste was a little stronger, uh, but uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, I love the menthol sensation on this, and it has a very unique taste to it. Um, if you're a menthol smoker and you haven't tried these, definitely go out and buy a pack of these. Um, uh, they're not expensive, at least in my area. Um, but yeah, very. Uh, I think this is this is uh, very good for uh, the price. Um, it for some reason it looks like a budget brand, but uh, I don't know. Um, but uh, would I buy a pack of these again? Probably uh, not soon, but I I can see myself buying a pack of these in the future. But uh, yeah, that's been another episode of Bogey Time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next time. Goodbye.